Bell Fountain traffic, Diamond Eclipse 203 Delta Charlie, departing runway 25, Bell Fountain. Back of traffic coming in. There's a bird. Watch for that. At this point, we do a 75 knot climb out. It's about between five and 700 feet a minute usually. We're headed direct to uh, Urbana, India 74. They're known for having the best pie in the sky, so maybe we'll get a slice of that today. At uh, 600 feet, so it's a crosswind. Bell Fountain traffic, Diamond Eclipse 203 Delta Charlie is left crosswind, 25 Bell Fountain. Portland traffic, Skyline 116 Hotel Romeo, 10 miles to the south, inbound to Portland. This airplane doesn't have any um, autopilot or anything, and it's a really short flight, 15-mile flight, so probably inside of 15 miles. Urbana grounds traffic, Diamond Eclipse 203, go to Charlie, 7 miles to the north northwest, and uh, be entering a midfield for runway 20, um, Urbana grounds. Four kilo Charlie downwind for runway one zero Delaware. Urbana ground traffic, diamond eclipse two zero three Delaware Charlie is midfield for runway two zero Urbana ground. My airspeed to get down below 100 so we can drop Black flaps. Up, so and one of them is off on the left downwind to uh, Delaware. Urbana grounds traffic, Diamond Eclipse 203, Delta Charlie's left downwind for 20. Delaware 454 Kilo Charlie turning base for 10 Delaware. And one way of golf's got the base traffic in sight. Delaware traffic, one through one five nine, left crosswind, Delaware. Urbana Grabs traffic, Diamond Eclipse 203, Delta Charlie is turning left base, two zero Urbana Grabs. Romeo Golf, left base, one zero, Delaware full stop. Urbana Grams traffic, Diamond Eclipse 203, Delta Charlie is turning, final 20, full stop, Urbana Grams. Delaware 159, center left downwind, 10, departure to the west, Delaware.
wasn't so bad. Ready for breakfast? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Laps up. Wangle it up. Fuel pump off. So we're at Urbana Grimes. This is our first vlog ever. And uh, we just hope you guys enjoy it and hope that we're not being too ridiculous here <laughs> because this is kind of uh, all new to me. Uh, by the way, my name's Adam. My wife's name's Ashley. And we have three kids and they'll probably also be taking some trips with us flying. So stick around and check out some more episodes because there's more to come. But right now, we're gonna go have some breakfast. So, come in with us, check it out. Plenty of airplanes out here today. The big Piper Mirage, or, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so this is the restaurant. We're gonna go inside. So what are we getting? I'm gonna get the airport omelet. So I got ham, bacon, sausage, hash browns, onions, green peppers, tomatoes, and cheese. So give that a try. Awesome. What are you getting? I think I'm getting the Aztec. Yeah. This is the menu. Yeah. Yeah. So got the airplanes on the ramp. <laughs> so we just finished uh, breakfast at Urbana Grimes Airport Cafe and I'm just going to show you a couple other things and talk about a couple other things there is to see and do at Urbana Grimes starting with um, Grimes Flying Lab Let's stop by and see this plane this is a plane they used to use to uh, they have a factory here in this town and they used to use this to test aircraft lighting, the intensities, um, so there's all kinds of lights all over it. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. I'll link um, in the YouTube uh, Grimes Flying Lab, so check that out on the website. It's a good reason to stop by. They have a matching tow vehicle. Pretty cool. The other thing they got here is med flight and they have an aircraft museum which I'm not going to today but it is on the other side of the airport cafe uh, they have a DC-9 in there and I think they have a B-52 project where they're rebuilding but 
plenty of planes on the ground today. They just keep landing and taking off. So we're getting ready to take back off. So we'll catch you in the airplane. All right, so we'll get back to the vlog a little bit, talk. And um, I've been doing this since um, 2003. Traffic I've got about I don't know, 12 years flying experience. I got my license in 2007. I took a lot of breaks. Don't recommend that. It's going to cost you more money in the long run. You copy? So. Yeah. More study time. Yeah, more study time. Yeah. More learning and forgetting. And that's just not necessary. So if you're planning on training, I would totally recommend. Making sure you get the money before you start the finish. So, I got about 230 hours right now. And I'm currently working on my instrument and going back right now to fly the Diamond Star with a flight instructor for instrument rate. So,